Hi students, I'm Sonia from Vidya Guru. We are starting a new session and the new session is basically vocabulary challenge. That means we are referring to the higher level vocabulary. The, the session on vocabulary, every session on vocabulary, rather I, I should say that is going to help you in every sort of competitive exam because English is the common most section that's there in almost all the competitive exam. So vocabulary session, you know, you cannot understand what should be the, what is going to be the level of vocabulary in your exam. So words are really beneficial, really helpful. At times people who are not preparing for the exam, they watch videos and they say, ma'am, we are watching your, we, we generally watch your video because of this reason to enhance our vocabulary because that vocabulary is, you know, a kind of thing which is going to help you understand everything. Like if there's a passage, if something is written, you know, somewhere, you can understand if you are good at words, if your vocabulary is strong. So that's the pers perspective that vocabulary sessions are going to help you enhance your vocabulary. Let's start the session. If you like the session, press the like button, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you do that, you'll get the benefit of all the exam relevant videos. Challenge the words, suggest you the story that the word, the level of the words that's going to be higher than other sessions. Let's start the session. It is four. The number is four. That's part four. That means I've already uploaded three parts and I feel that you have already watched three of them. Let's start the first word, that's ersas. Ersas means fake, that's artificial, that's substitute, that's synthetic, that's uh, imitation, that's something false. It is not real at all. That's what I'm trying to explain you. It is not real. That, that is why it is ersas. Ersas, that means it is not real, it is fake. I'm going to explain it with the examples because I feel that sentences are required. If you read any word contextually, that's going to be permanent in your head. You'll be able to retain the word for a longer period. I'm saying ersas versions at a flea market, you can purchase ersas versions of high-end products at a budget-friendly price. Let me tell you one thing. See what happens. Let's say there are a few things in the market. They are branded. They are very expensive and we are unable to buy them. We are saying small markets are there, flea, flea markets are there. We can go there. High-end high -end products are all available there as well. They are not the real products. They are actually the ersas versions, fake versions of the those branded things. We can buy them at a very nominal and a budget-friendly price. That can happen. That is why I was telling you ersas version of the high-end products. That means fake or artificial version of the high-end or branded products. So, ersas version, learn it like that. Mendicant, that's beggar. One who begs, one who begs, mendicant, beggar, one who begs. The mendicants begging on the side of the church road seem to be in miserable condition. We all see that if beggars are around us, we all see, we all observe that they are not in, you know, very sound state or a very healthy state. They all are generally they all remain in the miserable condition so it is not there's nothing new but i really want you to relate mendicants and uh, with begging only and write it down like that the mendicants begging on the street the mendicants begging on the street that's how you'll be able to relate the word somebody who's begging is a beggar somebody who's begging that's the beggar that is why if you write mendicants begging on the street only this much part you should write because if you write mendicant and write down the meaning beggar you will not be able to retain it let me tell you very frankly write down the way I say that I'm saying write down the mendicants begging on the street that means who's begging we all know if somebody is begging we call them beggars so mendicants begging that means beggars begging on the side atelier that's basically a workshop a studio where a person works and what sort of people I'm referring to? I'm referring to the artists, I'm referring to the designers. So the artist fell on hard times. The artist fell on hard times and was unable to afford even the rent of his atelier. Atelier artist, atelier artist, atelier designer, atelier artist. Relate the word atelier with artist because where the artists work, that's the workshop for them. And the hard times are such that this poor fellow is unable to pay the rent of his workshop. Atelier, a workshop or studio, especially one used by an artist or designer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Art atelier is a workshop. 
atelier is a workshop or a studio so artist is not in the fine state he is just facing the hard times and he is unable to pay the rent of his own workshop shop that's a tailor shinzi is the word which means cheap or which means something of poor quality that's shin shinzi shinzi that means cheap that's of poor quality shinzi that's cheap that's of poor quality let's take the example for the birthday party we require shinzi paper plates that can be thrown away later see do, we do not wish to you know throw away the expensive paper plates obviously so we'll take the kind of stuff which can be used and which can be thrown away later on so for the birthday party we are ordering we really require something of that sort that can be thrown away use and throw sort of thing can happen here so shinzi paper plates are required that means cheap paper plates are required here shinzi paper plates are required here that means cheap paper plates are required here something of poor quality that's shinzi the next word and the pronunciation of the word is domain s is not there in the pronunciation when we actually pronounce the word that's becomes that becomes domain domain is a state domain is domain can you understand that domain is domain domain is domain that is why land or uh, the area which is in your control the area under your control that's domain Dem domain that's your domain domain your domain domain the area which is under your control so domain is a state as the manpower was cheap it made a lot of sense in cultivating the domain we want the tilling should happen we want the tilling cultivation should happen cultivation agriculture we are referring to agriculture or tilling should happen at a place manpower was cheap that is why it made a lot of sense that is why we can actually get people and start the cultivation start the cultivation where to start the cultivation in cultivating the domain domain can be cultivated that means the area the land which is in your control should should be actually cultivated there we can start the tilling process that means domain cultivation can be started there domain is the word which means a state domain or area which comes under your control eructation eruct something burp that means you're taking out something the bell sort of sound when your stomach is upset this happens like it, it happens with almost everyone here we are taking the reference it is b e l c h i'll write it again for you guys i'm saying b e l belch so at times we produce you know belching sort of sound so that belch that burp is basically eructation eructation the sole problem that still troubled the old woman was frequent eructation at night what happens at night the old woman as the burping problem she makes you know uh, such sort of sound that troubles her she is she still has the soul problem the soul that the only problem is which actually is creating problem for the old woman for the old lady that she frequently burps that means frequent eructation at night burping at night that's the problem with her she she actually is troubled by this problem only that's frequent eructation that means frequent burps are there she has the problem of burping often making sounds from the mouth when the stomach is upset full of gas that's eructation burp jejun is childish uninteresting naive simplest uh, simplistic and uh, you can say superficial and you can say something is dry something is boring something is uninteresting so that is why if it is not interesting it is uninteresting that means in other words we can say it is boring it is boring jejun can be boring jejun can be uh, naive as well the publishing house was miffed showed anger miffed anger anger miffed anger at the writer because the readers found her prose jejun and lifeless writer is writing something that's the prose which was actually read by the readers and did the readers find it lifeless yes that's what we are trying to say that readers found it jejun readers found it lifeless readers found it uninteresting boring sort of that is why publishing house showed anger miff that the writer did you understand that jejun is uninteresting jejun is uninteresting that is why the publishing house miffed at the writer showed anger because her prose was jejun 
Now, the next word is paramo. Paramo that means lover. Paramo that means lover. That's uh, that lover is not legal sort of lover. Like you are in love with somebody. Extramarital sort of affairs happen. And when you talk about such things, that means it has some illicit sort of feeling. Illicit is illegal. That, that we all know the basic word. Uh, you know that's very basic. Illicit is illegal. Paramo that means lover. That means illegal lover. The similar word can be mistress. It is a good word which actually replaces, which can actually has the potential to replace the word. So mistress, mistress. That's lover. That's paramo. Let's look at the example. To avoid getting discovered, the wealthy real estate broker asked his paramo to stay at a hotel on the outskirts of the city. So the rich, wealthy, rich real estate broker. hiding somewhere doesn't want that anybody should actually you know should be in a position to discover him to find him out where he is hiding actually so he asks his mistress to stay at a hotel not in the city but uh, but on the outskirts of the city so paramo lover but illicit lover toxin is warning when some danger is there you get the warning so that toxin is warning an alarm bell or signal which is actually provided that toxin toxin is warning So an unexpected drop in a learner's grades can be the toxin of an unresolved personal problem. Please understand that if you know somebody starts producing results which are unexpected, especially you know this kind of drop in the grades, that's seriously unexpected drop in the students' grades, learners' grades, the person who's learning and he's not showing potential, his grades are falling down. so can be the toxin can be the alarm uh, alarm thing can be a warning sort of thing of an unresolved personal problem this learner has unresolved personal problem and it is the sign it is the warning that his grades are actually falling so un that is why i was telling you toxin is warning where an alarm bell or signal is given so toxin is warning or an alarm an alarm bell or signal you can actually relate it like that internation that's destructive that's ruinous that's deadly that's bloody that's violent that's ruinous something which ruins actually something which ruins actually which destroys which is violent which is bloody that's internation destructive let's look at the example that's how you'll be able to learn it the internation conflict between american terrorist forces has completely ruined the economy of afghanistan the conflict is there between american terrorist forces we all know that that internation conflict isn't going to be you know an all right sort of conflict that we can actually tolerate but it says it is not an all right sort of conflict it is internation sort of conflict where the destruction where the violence is going to be there in that fight in that conflict internation conflict which is going to ruin everything so that is why it says that economy of afghanistan will be ruined because of this internation fight because of this internation conflict between america and america and terrorist forces so internation is destructive ruinous let's start the revision immediately be very very curious because you have to keep all the words in your mind arsas that's fake arsas that's fake arsas versions of high end products that means fake version of high end products mendicant begging on the street that means beggars were begging on the street atelier of artist that means workshop of the artist shinzi products that means shinzi products that means cheap poor quality products domain domain which is in your control domain domain which is in your control that's a state that's land eructation was the problem of that old lady that means burp was the problem belch was the problem jejun and lifeless prose of the writer jejun and lifeless will give you the understanding lifeless and jejun both words are actually Uh, some sort of uh, substitutes for each other both the words i'm referring to jejun and lifeless if you actually relate these words if you write these words together you'll be able to keep the word in your mind jejun and lifeless prose of the writer that means lifeless that is uninteresting that's boring 
paramour i said lover but not legal sort of lo lover that's illicit lover that's paramour toxin was the warning of an unresolved personal problem alarm bell signal which was actually provided internecine that's destructive internecine conflict that means destructive conflict it is not going to be peaceful we are saying it is destructive so that's internecine we are wrapping it up thank you so much